Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey everyone, checking in on blockchain names. If you are watching blockchain, you must be watching cryptocurrencies. They are absolutely correlated. And when we have cryptocurrencies crash like we did recently, they're certainly recovering. But you see the same thing in the blockchain names. So we're looking at Riot, Grow, MARA, Elfin, LT, and then BTL.V. We have more and more US names coming in. We saw the hype and the wildness of LT. We'll get to that in just a bit. But where we headed on Friday, we saw the all-out dump in the cryptocurrency space and the bottom was hit. And now we've been bouncing all weekend. So these stocks are going to open up again on Tuesday due to the holiday. And we have to see where we are in relation in the cryptocurrency world, most notably Bitcoin. Where is Bitcoin related to where we closed on Friday? That's what we're going to be looking for to determine what to anticipate in these stocks on Tuesday. So what we're looking at, and we're also going to look at BTL.V, the Canadian name. But a lot of the Canadian names are, are losing momentum, Hive and, and LTV, and really uh, just not seeing the kind of action that is favorable for bulls. So I'm sticking to mostly U.S. names, which are in the same scenario, but U.S. names, easier to trade for me, so sorry. <laughs> Riot is pulling back on the daily time frame and losing the higher low pattern. So that's notable. We lost this low of 22.10. We knew we were extremely overbought. We have Citron coming out and shorting Riot. They've now covered, I believe, so... I do believe we will bounce from here, but because we broke the higher low pattern, we have to be cautious of a lower high. And the reason for that is the potential bearish reversal head and shoulders pattern. Left shoulder, head, and if we bounce and set a right shoulder rejecting in the mid 30s, we will look to then head back to the neckline, which is key support now, 2020. So we pulled back from 46.20 down to 2020 in four days. That is over a 50% pullback in that amount of time. So just like you can go up real fast, you can come you can come down real fast as well. Bearish reversal candlestick on the weekly time frame, volume climax signaling the top. We're looking for some tightening uh, tightening consolidation, which could show itself off or show up as a lower high on the daily and then a higher low tightening equilibrium pattern. Signals to be looking for to determine if the bulls are bouncing. Have to look on the shorter term time frame. Here's the hourly chart forming an equilibrium pattern. We had an oversold dump all the way down to 2020. We bounced and got to 2646 real quick. There's a, a real quick 30% uh, bounce in just an hour. <clears throat> From there, we set our higher low down at 2230. And now we're looking to see if we're going to set a lower high. On Tuesday, a break of 2230 is bearish. A break of 2646 is bullish. And we'll then be looking at 2789 as our next resistance level. So the start of a bounce is here and we could see a gap up open on Tuesday if the cryptocurrencies are staying where they are right now in their fully recovered, well, I shouldn't say fully, in their recovered, significantly recovered positions. That being said, we still have two more trading days in cryptocurrencies and a lot is going to change over that time frame. So checking in on Grow. Grow had the same pullback, the same dump, and the same bounce begin to initiate when cryptocurrencies hit bottom. Support is 330. We bounce off of 371. We did lose a couple supports, but that main support of 330 is still intact. We look at the weekly time frame. That's the level that the bulls have to hold to keep the higher low pattern in their favor. So 330 and now 371. Same thing. We look at grow on the hourly time frame. Same pattern. Low of 371, high of 433, another huge bounce, 20%. Higher low established at 391. So the range is 391 support to 433 resistance. MARA, also a bear break. Gap down open, bulls bought the dip. New support is 392 and 364 from previous support. In terms of whether or not the bulls have momentum on this bounce, we look at the hourly, same pattern, low of 392, high of 470, huge bounce there, and higher low, 434. So 434 support, 470 resistance. You can see just those three, all of them have the same exact pattern on the hourly time frame, all correlated to each other. 
and watching to see which direction we break on Tuesday. Elfin is one of these newer names that ran insane amounts and got halted all the time. This was the action this week on Monday. We ran from 35 to 142 and halted every 10 minutes as a response to that. And now we pulled back very significantly. This is another one where we're looking at the hourly time frame to determine if our bottom is in. We hit our low and look at that. It's the same pattern. Low was hit at 36.76, high of 44.49, higher low of 37.50. The range right now is 37.50 support to 44.49 to resistance. Elfin has the highest risk to reward. It is very thinly traded. If the bulls do show up and turn momentum around, we could see some very quick gains. So right now, in terms of all four of these plays that we've looked at, they all have the same hourly setup. Elfin is probably your highest risk, highest reward. Riot is a potential leader, although right now at this point, it's really just the cryptocurrency space that are the leaders, and we're watching and following along with that. Now on to LT, and this is the one that got headlines and was a red flag as a potential little blockchain stock bubble. And this is something I've been warning about in the cryptocurrency space with ICOs and the blockchain space. If you see my video in the playlist on YouTube, intro to blockchain stocks. I keep talking about how these are not investments. These are for trading and you're going to see companies start to change their name and change their business description to capitalize on this hype, even though these names have nothing to do with it and no business established around blockchain. We have that now with a Long Island iced tea company changing their name to blockchain whatever and trying to capitalize on this space. Maybe they'll make that shift for their company, but as far as I'm concerned, they're trying to capitalize on hype. This is for trading only. We ran in one day from 244. News comes out. Next thing you know, we hit 949 the next day. So a 400% plus gain just by changing the name of the company. <clears throat> Higher low is now established at 506. Same thing. Let's see what the hourly time frame looks like. Our low is 463 our high is 640 and we haven't had a clear higher low i would call 490 a higher low bulls have to break 640 to be headed back after 640 we're looking at 737 so attempting to change the trend it's newer trading only two days of activity really as a blockchain name so the other four names have more of a drawn out clear pattern lt is definitely very high risk high reward along with elfin both of them with least the least amount of trading history on this list btl.v was our beautiful bull very slow steady and consistent not even slow but just steady and consistent for the bulls and we hit a uh the all-time high we had an inside bar and then the pullback started big red flag is the increasing bear volume we lost the higher low pattern by losing 11 dollars support we're now looking down at 965 and 867 as support levels same thing we look at btl on the hourly time frame to see if the hourly setup is similar and it is our low is 965, our high is 1069, higher low is 975, and you can see it's just a perfect equilibrium pattern right now on this 15-minute time frame. A clear break will come on Tuesday. So that's where we stand with all these names. The bottom line is we're following the cryptocurrency space. We dumped with the cryptocurrency space. We are now bouncing significantly. If these stocks were all going to open right here, right now, they would all gap up open above the high of this equilibrium hourly pattern that I pointed out on all these names. So again, it all depends on where we stand on Tuesday in the cryptocurrency space with how to anticipate where we're going to open. That's the risk. If you're holding any of these names overnight, and most notably over the weekend, and a holiday weekend, you have your hands tied for three days while cryptocurrencies do their thing. Let's say the cryptocurrency dump started on a Saturday. Anybody that was in these blockchain names is going to get absolutely crushed with a huge gap down once the market opens again. That is an insane amount of risk I am not willing to take on. That is why I am only day trading these names and am certainly not going to be holding overnight with that kind of exposure and risk. So I appreciate you watching. We'll continue to check back in on these names. If you are a cryptocurrency trader, check out the alert system we've got going and the courses for both learning technical analysis and learning the cryptocurrency space. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon.